The original idea was to write a book on all the religious establishments on the rock and it's the Campo de Gibraltar, which used to be within its jurisdiction. But as I went along, I started well way back in 2014. More and more facts were coming up, especially lots of information that hadn't been in the public domain. And uh, I finished up with four books instead of one, and this is the fourth one. The, uh, the first one was based on the, um, what is now the Roman Catholic Cathedral, when it used to be a, a Marinid mosque. Uh, then the second one on, on the Franciscan monastery, which we call the convent. Uh, and the third one, which came out last year, was on the uh, two monasteries, three monasteries and, and the convent and uh, the Hermitage of Our Lady of Europe. This one is basically on all the other churches that existed in Gibraltar and formed part of, of, the, of the rock and its environments. So can you tell us about any particularly fascinating uh, discoveries that you made during your research? Well, there's a bit of everything. Um, for instance, um, some of the churches I didn't even know that they existed. We had one where the um, mother care shop is now, I shouldn't be advertising, but there used to be a church there, Nuestra Señora de las Angustias, and, and it, it is said that one time the, the, uh, the, the Inquisition in Gibraltar used to meet there. And then there, were, there was another one here by the city hall, and that was also used as a, an orphanage for children and um, as a hospital. Uh, although a hospital was later founded by uh, Juan Mateos up in what, what is later St. Bernard's Hospital. But as I was telling you before, there was even the case of one priest brought before the Inquisition, because not only had he had an affair with one of his parishioners, apparently, but he had also been pinching money from the, the poor box. So, you know, the, all kinds of things going on. Are you now finished with this area of research, or moving on to other areas? I think I will move into another area, because, I, I, I mean, there's much more to be written, I'm sure, but it will have to be somebody else to do it. Um, I, I, am, I do write on, in newspapers on, on Gibraltarian culture and heritage and on the fortifications. I've got another uh, project which is the Sephardic Jews of, of, of Gibraltar. Hopefully that will see the light of day. And people are pressing me, uh, to, um, together with the Heritage Trust, to publish a book on the streets of Gibraltar which have been coming out uh, weekly in, in the Gibraltar Chronicle. So there are projects in, in, in the far distance or near, near future, I'm not very sure. So the proceeds from this book go towards the Heritage Trust Restoration Fund. Are you hoping that by giving this book as a Christmas gift, people will also be giving a gift to the Trust? There used to be a saying, buy a dog for Christmas. I always say buy a book for Christmas and, and, and try to find out more about um, what's going on, what happened in Gibraltar in the past. I must also point out, and it's very important, that the, the book again has been very finely illustrated by my friend and collaborator, Victor Mida. Uh, who's done a great job on, on all the, the, the four books and you know it, it's certainly a person who's helped me out not only with the with the photographs and images but also with his comments and advice.